Hey y'all, it's CJ from Smoky Beginnings, and today we're going to be going over how to grill chicken skewers, chicken kebab, or if you're from Central New York, chicken speedies on your charcoal grill. If you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's go! Today I have a little helper that is going to help us with making the overnight marinade. We're going to start with oil, lemon juice, and red wine vinegar. We're going to add all those to a mixing bowl. We will whisk all those ingredients together before moving on to our dry ingredients. The dry ingredients are garlic, white sugar, oregano, basil, salt, red paper flakes, and ground pepper. We are also gonna cut up one bunch of parsley. After adding all the ingredients to the mixing bowl, go ahead and whisk it to make sure that everything has been mixed together. If you wanna see the full recipe, I will go ahead and leave a link in the comments. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take three to four chicken breasts and cut them up or cube them up into squares. What you're really looking for is something that you can put on a skewer at a later point. Next, you're gonna take the cubed up chicken and the marinade that we made earlier and put them into a freezer bag, then into the, the refrigerator for 24 hours. The red wine vinegar that we used earlier is going to tenderize the meat while it marinades. The chicken has been marinated for about 24 hours in the refrigerator. It's now time to get this chicken on the skewers and onto the grill. Let's get our fire started by starting up one full charcoal chimney. This is going to be a pretty quick cook. So I'm going to be using some leftover charcoals from a previous cook. I'm going to add some new coals, but for the most part, I don't need a lot of charcoal. I am going to set it up in a two zone fire setup where one side's hot and the other side is cool. We do that by pushing all our coals off to one side. Way to tell that your coals are ready is that the apples have ashed over and you have a clear blue smoke. These coals are ready so I'm going to go ahead and dump them on top of the unlit coals. Before we put the skewers on the grill it's time to open up a beverage and then we'll put our chicken skewers on the grill. Now that it's time to get the skewers on the grill we're going to set them up on the indirect side first and as you can see here, I do have a basting cup that is full of the uh, marinade that we used earlier. Throughout this cooking session, we're going to be basting the skewers. Once all the skewers are on the grill, I'm going to go ahead, close the lid, and check back and probably somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes to check on the progress. It has been about 7 minutes and I'm checking in on the progress of our skewers. Already, we're starting to get some nice grill marks. The ones closer to the charcoal are cooking faster so I'm going to do a little rearranging here and rotate the ones that were closest to the coals are not going to be the farthest away from the coals and the ones that were the farthest away from the coals are going to be the closest. We're just going to kind of rotate these skewers every now and then just to make sure that everything is cooking evenly. While we're here we'll go ahead and take some of that marinade and we will baste the skewers. Once you're done basting all of the skewers go ahead and close the lid and we'll come back in about another five minutes to check in on the progress. So it's been about five minutes and now I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature. I'm shooting for a temperature between 165 and 175 degrees Fahrenheit. That way the chicken will have a nice crispy outer skin and a nice tender and juicy inside. These skewers aren't up to temp yet so we'll go ahead and baste them again and then we'll check in another five minutes to check on the progress. It's been about another five minutes and I came to check the internal temperature of these skewers. And we're not quite at the desired internal temperature, but we are getting pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and move these skewers over to the direct heat side of the grill. On the direct heating side of the grill, the chicken is now going to get a nice char, a nice sear on the skin, and come up to temp a lot quicker. Uh, we're going to dry out that skin and become crispy. I'm going to baste the skewers again, just trying to add another layer of flavor on top of the chicken skewers. You're going to want to rotate these skewers about every one to two minutes to make sure that each side is cooked evenly. If the chicken skewer sticks to the grill, then you know that it needs just a little bit more time on that side. So give it a little bit more time and then it'll eventually break free. These have reached our desired internal temperature, so we're going to go ahead and take them off the grill. When it comes time to serve these, you can put them into a hoagie roll, you can put them into a pita, you can put them into a tortilla, you can also put them on your salad. These chicken speedies, chicken kebabs, chicken skewers, whatever you want to call them, are just a delicious way to eat chicken. And there you have it, that's how you make chicken skewers on a charcoal grill. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe and check out our other videos on the channel. And in the comments, let us know what are your favorite grilled kebabs. 
Till next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.